Good afternoon. George Cavill Eagles for HFT Bonds. Well, the plan worked. That was nice. Um, didn't uh, hang around long enough as usual, but that's okay. Uh, interesting levels. 131.22 is the old low from back in the uh, early fall in the 10-year note. We're kind of still, what, about a point above the old lows in the bonds here. I think the low there was around 144.5, just off the top of my head. You know, I sent you the uh, levels yesterday. Um, we're banging out those support levels pretty hard these days, and tomorrow is kind of a similar situation. Buyback of bonds in the morning, and then the seven-year auction in the afternoon, and then that's it. So I'm going to kind of stick to the same game plan, guys. I want to look to sell either a bounce tonight or a bounce into the buyback, which is my favorite trade, small morning. You know, we did have a bounce last night. Uh, the tenure got all the way up to, what, 12 plus, and the bonds had a nice rally, too. But, uh, you know, I, I wasn't in and uh, paying attention after yesterday's court nonsense to the charts last night. So I'll take a look tonight, obviously, and if I see some decent levels, I'll, I'll try the short side. But uh, I'm still more inclined to trade intraday tomorrow into the, uh, into the buyback and give it to them. You know, we did have a nice bounce in the last, whatever, a couple minutes before the pit closes here. And I wouldn't be surprised to see us go a little bit further. The old lows in the 10-year is 134.04. The bond old low is one from last night, or, yeah, from yesterday was 146.20. I don't know if we're going to be able to bounce that much. Um, we are hitting some short-term uh, resistance levels here at 146.06. I think we'll go a little bit higher than that tonight. That's been the tendency for the early night, you know, bounce up. So we'll see. Um, take a look at the resistance levels on the overnight, and if I see anything interesting, I'll make sure I'll fire it off on Twitter for you. Got to get some Christmas shopping done. I always wait till the last minute. So I will see you on the Twitter feed later on. Um, big, big volume today. Um, we're in some kind of a third wave. We're in some kind of an impulse move. Don't bottom fish this thing unless you're really quick and nimble. Uh, I know a couple guys. Jack had a nice... Uh, scalp off the lows here this afternoon. I'm not inclined to try that trade. I'm more inclined to try and sell these rallies, let the trend bail you out of mistakes if you get in too early like I often do, and uh, see how it goes from there. Remember the C equals A targets I put in that email yesterday afternoon? One, what was it? 143.31 for the bonds. I know that one. That's sticking in my head. And let me just real quick take a look at the uh, tenure and see where that is. 13018 to 13022. Well, we're not there yet. So, we're going to wait for those levels before we do some serious bottom fishing unless the market tells us, you know, with some kind of reversal day or something along those lines beforehand. We are seeing some of those old uh remember when we highlighted the trade a couple weeks ago, somebody bought 55,000 TLT DS122 puts. I think they bought them in the mid 80s. Well, they're selling them today, it's at least some of them. They sold about 15,000, 20,000 of them so far today, around a dollar eighty. So, you know, there is some guys taking some chips off the table here from the long-term bear side. I don't think they're getting long. I didn't see any big call trades going through TLT or IEF or any of the other bond uh, sort of uh, ETFs. Or we did see some big uh, bids resting around the, uh, what was it, the 133.28, I'm sorry, one. 3128 area um, traded a ton at the low, at least 10, 15,000. So we're starting to hit some guys that have been short for a while, some of these dealers, some of their bids as the market's coming down here. I'm sure as these guys are distributing the bond auctions from last week and the note auctions from this week, they'll flip their hedges around the other way and, and cover their hedges as they get rid of some of these bonds and notes that they own. So, but I'm not bottom fishing yet, guys. I don't think it's a great idea yet. So we'll see what happens in the next couple days. Uh, remember, uh, we're running out of auctions. Thursday's the last uh, big auction through the holidays, and then we'll get into uh, January and QE Forever starts up. So we'll see how things work then. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.